Guess the guys were at a winery. Not just any winery, the one winery in the Swan Valley. It's called Penelli Estates, and he's supplying me with uh, this year's grapes. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. Hey, Dale. Alright, so I've got all the apparatus here, the sugar. The Stuff and this is the uh, this is the apparatus. So I've hired one of these. It's a electric crusher to stemmer. Absolutely, kind of make it really efficient. It it crushes the grapes, puts it into the container here. It discards all the stems and the rubbish. And I'll quickly give you a, give you a quick demo. So we press the button here, green. As easy as catching calamari. Day four. The must is fermenting in these big containers. I've got two of them. And the idea is see how it's all come up? There's all the skins underneath is the wine. Because the, the carbonic gases raise the skins to the top. It's called the cap. What you need to do is just to plunge the cap to make sure there's always contact with the juice and the skins and also to release all the carbon dioxide gases to cool it down. So that's what I've been doing for the last three days. It's a bit dirty job, you can see it. The wine there just uh, running off. And that's just coming pretty good. Look at that, it's bubbling. Now this is the tough job. It's a matter of getting these, getting the, the juice and the must here into the wine press. This little scheme here. Um, now I've already tested the sugar levels and it's around the 3% mark which is time to press. So basically I'll be putting all that into this. This has got like a screw thing with some wood props. It pushes all the juice out of the skins. You left with the wine in here and then eventually we'll put them into the containers of the demijohns under an airlock and ferment them for another Oh, they can stay there for another four weeks before we rack them off. So, big job today. No fishing, obviously. Enough blip up. I'm going to do some work. Right, there are all the skins. Pour them in here. If you press it, you can see the wine's coming out. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Fine split small red wine coming out here. Just been slightly pressing it. This will eventually fill up. Keep going. 
And this will be she fill up the body over here. Awesome. So this is in the big fat. That's gonna go all the way into the press here. There's a seed gushing out for the wood stoves. Right down into the calandra, into the funnel, right in there. Do. You always got to try. Still quite sweet, it's tart, still fermenting, but delicious. A bit warm, but we'll do alright. Now, I don't recommend drinking out of a jug, that's five litres. Um, I only had one drink though. <laughs> Right, we put the wood stoves in here. Put the big blocks. Then put the uh, press mechanism here. That just squeezes it all down. Right, this is where we burn up a few calories. Round and round we'll go. And as we're turning, it's pressing. Then there's a few little keys here that hold it in position. It keeps the gear straight, but actually turns the red bit, which means it's slowly screwing down. Nice and easy. So this big container is almost full. It's, all the, it's a mix between the pressed wine and the free run juice in the container. I put it into these demi joints. Go from the wine here. Big job, everything's all cleaned up, it's all in the backyard. I didn't show you how I unopened the, uh, the press and all that stuff, I just got too tired. But anyway, so the, the trick is, all the wine is back in these containers. They're gonna ferment here, probably for the next two or three weeks. You've got the nice airlocks here, that's the gas escaping. So I've got a fair bit here. I'll get a few bottles out of this to celebrate the close of the vintage for the red wine. I've just cooked up a very simple fresh tomato and prawn sauce with uh, spaghetti. Right, so to celebrate the vintage, I've got a prawn tomato fresh, I've got a fresh tomato and prawn and zucchini sauce. Got the beautiful pasta here, nice little dente. Chuck that all over here. Beautiful. Beautiful, all that. Al dente. Right, and to top it off, courtesy of Penelli Estates from the Swan Valley. That's where I got my grapes from. Got on you, Daniel. You've done a good job, mate. Those Merlot looking great. Oh, yeah. So, look at Semillon, semillon blanc, that's beautiful. Get the pasta al dente into this beautiful sauce. Fresh tomatoes and corns, a bit of zucchini. What a way to finish off the season. Taste here. That's the corns. Corns are courtesy of a subscriber. He was down the road. He gave me a packet the other day. Really nice. Thanks, Ant. The spaghetti, well, I'm actually starting to get pretty hot. Mmm. Mm. Fantastic. See you next time. Take it easy. Salute.